survey release is a really positive start. Question number 11, the Honourable Scott Simpson. Thank you, Mr Speaker. My question is to the Minister for Workplace Relations and Safety. How many people and in what sectors, sorry, I'll start again. How many people and what sectors of the economy have been on strike in the, last, in the past 12 months? Mr Speaker. The Honourable Ian Nees Gellaway. Thank you, Mr Speaker. MB advises me that so far in 2018, there have been 7,485 employees reported to have gone on strike. The, select the sectors where there is industrial action uh, include education, health and the public service, sectors that were chronically underfunded by the national-led government for nine long years. Is he aware that there have been more people go on strike this year than in any year since the 1980s? And why does he think that after years of a stable industrial relations environment, there has suddenly been such a surge in strike, strikes across almost every sector of the economy? Well, Mr Speaker, I cannot speak to the veracity of that information. I never can with that member. But I would say this. I think the reason why we're seeing such a large amount of industrial action at this point a, in time... point of order, the Honourable Jerry Brown. Uh, Mr Speaker, are you, are you going to uh, allow that as a reasonable statement from a minister who's answering a question under the scrutiny of the House about his actions as a minister? What, what is the particular objection the member has? I'm not going to explain it. Well, well it, I mean, if, 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 no, sorry, if, the member, if the member's worried about the word veracity, uh, the word veracity is not outlawed in this House. It's a question of, of veracity and knowledge. If someone's deliberately misleading the House, that is a problem. Uh, if someone makes a mistake uh, in, in, and their veracity is challenged, that is, that is not a problem. It's a question of... Um, uh, I'm, not, I'm not the lawyer and I, I, I hesitate to get myself charged uh, $500 for five minutes advice, but if the member on your left, but if the member on your left gave you some advice, he could tell you, tell you about men's rare and people. Pe people have to know what they're doing. Mr Speaker, in answer to the second part of the question, I believe the reason for the level of industrial action that we're seeing is twofold. One, a large number of public sector collective agreements expired during the last 12 months, and we're seeing a lot of collective negotiation happening at this point in time. But secondly, it's because those people have felt their wages have been suppressed for the last nine years, and they think it's their time to get their fair share. Can he confirm that strikes by nurses, midwives, primary school teachers, secondary school teachers, principals, IRD workers, MB workers, Littleton Port workers, Auckland bus drivers, Hamilton bus drivers, Wellington bus drivers, ACC workers, Burger King workers, Wellington Rail workers, Silver Fern Farms workers, Huranui District Council workers, Ministry of Justice workers, Premier Bacon workers have all occurred in the last 12 months, and have I missed any? <laughs> Mr Speaker, I, I can confirm that, that this all occurred under the legislation we inherited from the previous government. What, what changes has the government agreed to make in the Employment Relations Amendment Bill and which ministers requested those changes? Oh, Mr Speaker, the second reading of that bill will occur during the next session of Parliament, or at least I, I'm, I'm advised by the Leader of the House that that is likely to occur. Any changes to the legislation will become apparent at that time. Question number 12, the Honourable Louise Upston. Thank you, Mr Speaker. My question is to the Minister.